I am getting a super late start on today's video because I had such a difficult time removing the driver's side brakes on the S13. I went as far as to removing the whole knuckle assembly because one bolt that was holding on one of the calipers started rounding off and the last thing that I wanted to deal with was a rounded off bolt on a section of the knuckle that's really hard to get to. <laughs> and honestly, what I still need to do is uh, clean up the garage from our little flocking mess that we made last night. All of this black crap here makes it look like something spontaneously combusted in the garage. But no, it's just a bunch of the fibers used to flock your dash. And if you guys want to see the final product, here you go. If I can grab it right here and flip it, you can see that it is looking pretty good. We did miss a couple spots like underneath the cluster right here and a little bit on the sides where the, uh, I guess the AC controls are. But overall, for our first time, I think uh, Reagan and I did a pretty solid job. And as far as any last tips that I could recommend to you all, it's that you should be very generous with the glue, make sure you have it nice and even, and then also use all of the fibers you can. When you think you have enough fibers on it, add more. That's how much you need. The kit comes with plenty, so there's no excuse not to use all of them. And good thing Drift Dad isn't here because if he were to see this, he would be chewing me out ASAP. <laughs> but as far as the calipers are concerned, I need to disassemble them, sand them down to get to the nice bare metal, and then finally choose a color to paint them. I'm still on the fence about it. <laughs> Yesterday they overlooked me, yesterday they played me Yesterday they told me get a job, this won't save me Yesterday they left, they couldn't see what a new day brings Even yesterday I knew today would be amazing Yesterday my mama said I'm just a fake Eminem Yesterday I realized that that's a great comparison Yesterday she said nobody wanna hear my music Yesterday my song did like 50,000 views shit Ooh, and I oh my gosh, did I underestimate how difficult it would be to take the paint off of these freaking calipers. I've been sitting here for at least four hours with sandpaper and a drill with a wire brush on it, just trying to get as much paint off of these suckers as possible. And for the most part, I've done a pretty good job, but oh man, it's just so time consuming. My drill has barely any life left in it, and my hands are cramping from using sandpaper. I think I'm gonna call it for a night. <laughs> First thing in the morning, I'll run to Home Depot, grab another wire brush for the drill, and maybe something for the Dremel for the nooks and crannies on the calipers. And if this is the reason why I don't have an upload for Thursday, I'm sorry. Sometimes I just get so caught up in what I'm doing, I kind of forget to film and keep you guys updated. But I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, it is the next morning and I'm feeling pumped. I ran over to AutoZone and picked up this uh, thing called aircraft remover. Yeah, it's some type of gel that I guess removes paint. Big shout out to all of you guys on Instagram because I did post a picture asking what the best way was to remove paint on uh, calipers was. And a lot of you reached out to me saying to pick up that aircraft crap. So that's what I did and I have some of it soaking into the caliper right now. And you can already tell, yeah, look at that. It's reacting. Now don't worry, I didn't completely lather it up because I know I was reading online that they said you want to watch out for your seals. So I used a brush and I just gently brushed over the caliper and uh, looks like it's getting the job done. So I finally think I've done enough prep work on the calipers. Seriously guys, don't underestimate how long it will take. Too bad Nacho couldn't help me, isn't that right? He did keep me company for probably the six to seven hours of prep work that I've been doing. So thank you Nacho, thank you. So now I guess it's time to apply this primer that I have that I picked up from uh, AutoZone. Don't worry, I've been shaking it a bunch. And if there's one thing that I am kind of worried about, it's the fact that I am pretty crappy at spray painting. All right, so I finished with the primer. I did two nice uh, heavy coats. That's dried up and I have since applied the color of paint that I've decided on. Any guesses? Hmm? Right before you see it. You guys are probably gonna hate me because it's pretty basic, but uh, 
Here it is. <laughs> Good old OEM gray. Or silver. Or, well, wait, this isn't it. Here it is. <laughs> There's no name for it, but basically a metallic silver. I know it's not too flashy, but that really wasn't what I was aiming for. Some of you recommended that I go gold, which to me is kind of a little bit too much of a copy of PBM's gold Z32s that they offer. I decided against red because that reminds me too much of Brembo's and these aren't Brembo's. I was gonna do black, but I just think it would contrast nicer with a nice metallic silver on the blue S13. But while this dries, I'm beating myself up because after disassembling the calipers, I misplaced one of the spring clips for one of the front Z32s. Here's the one that I have left right here. And believe it or not, a replacement one of these costs $12 before shipping. So I'm scrambling, trying to figure out where I misplaced it. And so far I have not had any luck. I swear, I hate myself sometimes because I am known to misplace things. Drift Dad will be the first one to tell you that. So I have finally got my last layer on to the calipers. I wonder how many times I said calipers in this video. Probably way too many. But they are looking pretty nice, if you ask me. I don't think I missed any spots. Maybe a little bit. But having a gray primer with a silver spray paint kind of masks any spots that I might have missed while I was spraying them. And to keep myself busy while that crap was drying, I went ahead, cleaned up the garage so Drift Dad doesn't have to be so uh, upset at me when he comes home tomorrow. <laughs> and I was also trying to get this stupid thing to start so I can spray down my new used subframe that uh, my friend Chumley gave me. I doubt you guys remember, but last, I think it was September, I had realized that one of my differential mounts in the subframe was stripped. So while the car is up in the air, I do want to change out that subframe for that one that I know has a good diff mount. And while the subframe's out, I do want to tackle the diff. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I would like to have a different final drive ratio, and I'm not 100% sure uh, what all my options are, so if you guys could help me out with that, uh, it would be very much appreciated. Now, I don't want to get too much crap on my hands because that subframe is full of who knows how many years of tire crap and road grime and who knows what. Plus, I've already stained at least five shirts from just handling this thing in the time that I've had it. That's the one thing I'm not good at is staying clean. <laughs> Alright, subframe is as clean as I'm gonna get it without getting sandpaper on it and uh, scrubbing off all the extra crap that's on it. It kind of just makes it have a rough surface. What color should we do this subframe? I've seen a lot of people, like I guess with 240s that they're selling that have done some pretty cool like neon colors, so not neon pink, but like I think a highlighter yellow would be cool. Or maybe we should just stick with black. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm tired. I'm gonna head home, take a shower, hop in bed, and go to sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a nice big thumbs up. But me and the clean subframe, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.